couple years ago, the SGO did a sort of analysis or a needs analysis as to sort of what was happening in the healthcare landscape. And we realized with the changes in physician payment, um, the dramatic changes that were inevitable in healthcare, and now with the passage of the Affordable uh, Care Act, that we really needed to start engaging in research that evaluated quality, looked at outcomes, comparative effectiveness, and start to develop registries so that we could really demonstrate what good quality of care was in G1 Oncology and uh, what G1 Oncologists were bringing to the table and, and the value that they provided uh, their patients with uh, GYN cancers. I think one thing that's really exciting about the foundation is that if we look at the uh, recent report by the Institute of Medicine looking at the uh, cancer crisis that we have in the United States, um, I think what's very exciting is that our foundation is already addressing all of the major concerns that the Institute of Medicine has in terms of how we can improve uh, cancer care in the United States. We've been pleased with the percentage of members that have participated in the foundation, now uh, equaling almost 20% of the membership, and we've received uh, commitments of over $500,000 from the members. Uh, obviously, we'd like to see more of the members participate, and it just uh, shows you how well we can do with an even greater percentage of our members participating. We are very pleased with our corporate sponsors, Precision Therapeutics, Hologic, Roche and Myriad have all been very generous and helped fund the Research Institute to the tune of $1.5 million and that research support will be critical uh, to the Institute performing studies that we think are going to be very important for the Society and its members. Also, uh, in terms of some of the larger donations from the members, we've had several members participate in the Legacy Society. Uh, this is a larger donation. Uh, two specific individuals, Dr. Jimmy Orr and Dr. Farnejad, have been very generous, and we're hoping to get other members to participate to that degree as well. The contributions from industry, uh, from the legacy donators, and from the membership really will lead to uh, important research efforts on uh, behalf of the society and will help enrich the society itself uh, in terms of educational courses and I think ultimately will contribute to the improvement in outcomes of women with gynecologic cancer in a very meaningful way. Well, I'd like to thank everyone who has uh, donated to the foundation and over the past two years we've actually raised 2.1 million dollars from our members, from our legacy society uh, donors and from our industry uh, partners and this is really going to allow us to do the type of research that we need to um, you know, evaluate comparative effectiveness and quality, uh, fund our endowment uh, and it's really due to the commitment of all of our members and the gynecologic oncology community that we're able to uh, continue with these great efforts.